to your end of the month reading for June. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Best message of these for the end of the month. talking about a transition and moving on and making bigger, better changes that are going to actually put you into clearer waters. So there could have been some turbulence that you're really moving away from. Um, it could have been some drama, some kind of competition, jealousy, something that's going on. Take it however it resonates with you, but definitely feeling like you're ready to resolve any kind of problems by moving away from the situation. There was definitely some kind of disappointment that you're just not going to deal with anymore, that you're leaving behind um, because it has just become, you've just become really burned out about the situation. Um, yeah, there's definitely, okay, so let's see why. Yeah, pretty much having that self-awareness of what's going on within the situation. So it just feels like you're kind of going after your higher calling. You're pretty much burned out from this situation, too much disappointment. Um, it was leaving you with a lot of anxiety and worry and it's almost like, well, I'm done with that, right? But I do feel like whoever you're walking away from, whether it's at work or, you know, or at home, you do have the Queen of Pentacles upside down, which is work, home, conflict, which means it could be at home, it could be at work, it could be, you know, wherever, a friend, whoever. Um, wherever this conflict is coming from, um, it does feel like uh, definitely this is... They don't like it, but you're done with the despair. You're done with all the heartache and the exhaustion. Um, but definitely, you might even be tired of the suspicion, right, of what they're doing. You're ghosting them. But literally, the hermit with, <laughs> yeah. The hurt, yeah, they're hermiting with, the hermit with the aid of cups going this way, you're definitely ghosting. Yeah, I see you ghosting them. For your own happiness, yeah. In your own quiet power. You're going to sit in your own quiet power as you're manifesting, taking action where you need to take action, but definitely going to ghost them. You're on your way. You're leaving for your own happiness and your own, you know, this has, like, become too much. So, absolutely do see you ghosting. Let's go ahead and clarify. And taking back your mutual attraction for yourself, actually becoming your own, or making an, a different partnership with someone else. So you could be leaving that relationship for another relationship, or somebody who's like-minded, or going towards a job that's more like like-minded. So you might be putting in your resignation from your job, and then kind of ghosting the situation, um, or ghosting anyone who is involved in the situation. I do see a lot of. Uh, I really do think it's a love situation for a lot of you, but it doesn't have to be. It definitely could be work as well, saying I'm putting in my two weeks notice, but I'm going to be very quiet. That's why I'm sitting in my quiet truth, because I'm kind of ghosting everyone, meaning I'm not really, and the ghosting is kind of like maybe even just withdrawing, right? I'm not going to really talk to anybody until it's over. Having a tower moment and situation, because there is this sudden change, because you have the inner calling and the uh, new phase coming. So pretty much on the judgment, you have the tower, which is getting in a beautiful uh, revelation, but it is definitely going to cause a little bit of this sudden change and you moving away is going to cause chaos, right? So it's going to cause an upheaval with whoever you're going, you know, whoever is going to uh, be involved in the situation. Um, there could be some codependency involved in the situation, but you could also feel like maybe they're a little obsessed, like they feel like they need you, that you were truly needed, but... I just feel like it's almost like, well, if I was so truly needed and all this drama and chaos is always coming up, then, you know, why am I even here, right? So you can feel like you're pushing through the progress significantly, but, but somebody else is going to feel that pain, but you already see that worry over there. So it's almost like you're, you know, if this is a money situation, you're going to a place where you feel like you can have more fun, more patience, being more successful. You know, having better moderation, getting along with people. I'm tired of the crap. The love situation, it's just the same in its own way, right? It really is. It's like I don't have to put up with the insecurities and the blocks and the frustrations. 
Um, no matter what's going on over here, you're definitely focusing on your higher standards. It's, it's kind of like taking back your power right now as you're accelerating to what it is you truly need for yourself, right? So this is definitely for you, okay? Because you can only carry so much weight within a situation and it just feels like it's getting worse and worse. It feels like throughout the month it's gotten worse and worse until now it's just to the point to where it's like, mm, I need more positive attention and more better opportunities and a place that feels better or be around someone who makes me feel better. Not have all these mixed emotions, all these, you know, doubts, worries, fears. However it is, I need something that's going to move courageously around me and make me know that I'm actually moving in the right direction. So you're, there's going to be a lot of bravery on your side because maybe it's something you're not used to doing. Maybe it's, you know, you've been in the same area or with the same person for a long time. Um, so it definitely is kind of worrisome for you to kind of change, right? But it definitely does feel like whatever you're going after is a little more flexible. I really feel it's a job, guys. I know that for some of you it's going to be love, but I really feel it's a job. And you're really facing these obstacles, right? But you're facing these obstacles now with a more positive attitude than you had before. Because I think before you're just so overwhelmed. Right? So now it's like you're stepping outside of that comfort zone to meet new people, to meet um, new job job opportunities to really, right, really change things up. So you're definitely, it's almost like you're rekindling the fire in yourself, right? And it doesn't mean you're not strong. It just means I was allowing myself into a comfort zone until I could find, yeah, until I could find something better or actually feel like I really wanted to move out of this. Or maybe you even had, you know, for some of you, I even feel like you might have thought they were going to change I think the sudden awareness when the tower hits, though, too, and you may have already had a tower for some of you, maybe you thought they were going to change, you realize they're not going to change, and this is where the sudden awareness and that inner calling comes in to where you're saying, that's it, I'm done, I'm done, I can't do it no more, I'm going to follow my own heart, I'm following where I'm going to go, yeah, you're like taking care of yourselves, right, and maintaining your own energy and your own vitality and really you know, taking on what it is I want now. Maybe I feel like you've been giving too much to somebody who's taking advantage. I don't care if it's of the workforce. I don't care if it's of love, family. It doesn't matter. It just feels like it was always about paying attention to their well-being, paying attention to what they're doing, and you kind of lost yourself in this situation. And now you're regaining that control to say, you know what, now I have to go back to where I am because I've allowed myself to get into a comfort zone of nothing. No passion, right? Just me always overwhelmed, always giving, never receiving, finding, you know, obstacles and challenges within you all the time. And now it's just time, guys, to recover from the, what you're going to feel as a loss, right? And I just feel like for a lot of you, you're trying to hold on to this so tight to fix whatever it was you were going to fix it. It's just, yeah. But now it's like you work so hard, right? Now you're saying, I'm going to take on the extra burdens at the end of the month. I'm going to carry the extra weight to the top of the mountain, right, so that I can actually have the completion. So you're saying, I'd rather take on this kind of extra responsibility of this situation than deal with this because I'm done with that. So it does feel like you're going to be, you know, in this self-discipline area as you're getting back your control and really moving in a different direction. So it's almost like your journey is taking you away from the situation with this sudden awareness. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. This message is coming through. Begin to see yourself as a spiritual being having an earthly experience of growth and transformation. Work daily towards improving your mental health, physical health, spiritual health, all the health, right? Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.